Who Moved My Cheese is about dealing with change in your work and in your life. Cheese being a metaphor for what you want in life. Everyone has their own idea what cheese means to them, and we go after it because it makes us happy. The maze in the story represents where you look for your cheese, or happiness. Your cheese is always changing, and you should not get comfortable in relying on your cheese to always be how or where you left it. In doing so will help you deal with change and bring you greater success, no matter how you define success for yourself. The four characters in the story represent parts of us, and it's up to you to identify which parts you are now and which you would rather be from now on. There's two mice who don't overthink everything and just get on with life. Sniff constantly sniffs out the change and is ready for it. Scurry goes into action immediately without needing to know all the information. Then there's two little people, really smart people who've done well for themselves so far. Hem, he likes to stay in a safe familiar territory, and Haw, who's slow to adapt to change but is open-minded. Sniff and Scurry go out and seek new cheese every day. Hem and Haw comfortably rely on their past knowledge and experience and assure themselves the cheese will be right where they left it. Hem and Haw even moved their house closer to their cheese and built a social life around it. They became so comfortable they didn't even notice what was happening. Sniff and Scurry noticed the cheese was diminishing and that one day it wasn't there. But they were not surprised. They were prepared and knew what to do. The situation had changed, so they decided to change. They sniffed and scurried in search of new cheese. Hem and Haw had not been paying attention to the changes. They took it for granted and were unprepared. How could this have happened, they thought. Nobody warned them. They wanted to believe somebody moved their cheese and didn't want to believe that they had failed to notice it getting smaller and smaller every day. Hem's complicated brain and deep belief system demanded to know why this had been done to him. While Hem and Haw were busy worrying about what happened to them, Sniff and Scurry were already out finding new cheese in uncharted territory, and it didn't take long before they found new cheese and started enjoying life again. Hem and Haw remained bitter and angry about not having their old cheese, complaining how life was unfair to them. They got used to being comfortable and were now afraid to go find new cheese. They got stuck in a habit of doing the same things over and over again and wondering why things didn't get better. Eventually, Hall realized the cheese was never coming back and may have to face his fears and go find new cheese. He finally stopped blaming others and took responsibility for himself. After all, it is safer to search in the maze than remain in a cheeseless situation. As Hall enjoyed his newfound cheese, he reflected on past mistakes and realized nothing got better until he changed. He didn't like it at the time, but the change was a blessing in disguise. Hem was too stubborn, or proud, or just simply unwilling to change. Nobody knows what became of him. Move with the cheese. 